I am interested to see if Hangman Adam Page starts to take over the reins of the Dark Order. So now, yeah. Okay, if we're not going to do, since Kenny Omega seems to be out from the Hangman Adam Page storyline for now, that's a pause, right? Their their backstory is in in this limbo. Their paths will cross again. Oh, I can't Now, now, and Brody Lee is unfortunately not with us. um, And if Dark Order has turned into this joking face, it might be the best thing for Adam Page to join the Dark Order and have some fun, and they can get into some fun segments. I I don't want to make Adam Page a comedy character necessarily, but I'm thinking more similar to a maybe a little more fun version of Austin and Angle, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That kind of thing, right? Where he's kind of like. Oh man, I'm tr- I'm trying to go do this match thing, right? And they're like bumbling around and kind of doing goofy things. He's like, ah, oh, you guys, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. I I can get Which, behind that, I guess. And then it could again if we're just having some fun here, fantasy booking. Then you can get him to turn the turn the corner and flip the switch and say like, enough fucking around, Brody Lee in his memory, wanted you guys to be killers. And then he asserts himself as this leader, and he's like, no, motherfuckers, we're doing this shit Brody Lee style. We're doing this shit to fuck people up. And then he becomes like, fuck the comedy, we're doing cowboy shit, you know? Yes, he becomes the dark cowboy. So now all of his cowboy stuff is like when you see the like the dark cowboys in the movies, mm-hmm. right? Like dark oh. stuff. And he even kind of gets them more like that. Like they're less like evil monsters, but they're just kind of this ominous, maybe, almost you know hired I mean, assassins, dusters, right? Yeah, like, like the APA kind become, of stuff, right? But and he's the dark cowboy, mm-hmm. the hangman. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they come in like they're like almost like the like the Undertaker druids. Like whenever people would do hangings, right? I'm sure there was people there in like this. So they didn't know who was hanging people. I think is generally what they would do, right? They would clothe those people and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, we could be onto something there. That could be fun, oh. right? They're the Dark Order, and he's the dark, like, cowboy leading them and stuff, like, with this kind of sinister and I to tell get you ahead. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, and I tell you what, Tim, again, just getting excited here, booking this fantasy matchups uh, for AEW. Uh, as we saw earlier in the night, uh, Tony Khan is not above buying the rights of songs, as uh, Jungle Boy has now Tarzan Boy as his entrance music. Don't be shocked if you turn hangman adam page into this ominous cowboy tony khan buys a johnny cash you know when the man comes Mm -hmm. around type of song and oh shit or the hurt song oh (laughs) my god when he just walks in remake and he and hangman adam page already has that bandana that goes over his nose he already has just the you know the glaring eyes that he could do oh and then it's like yeah it's almost like he's already somewhat dark like he's already a little you know Mm-hmm. It's almost Mysterious. like an American badass, but not with Kid Rock and Fred Durst. Mm-hmm. It's the cowboy who's going to come around and fuck you up. And then that that's what I'm saying. You mm-hmm. take him first where it's like, hey, this yeah, is all the old West assassin moving in the middle right. of the night. Oh, he's, the sheriff. He's like the fucking sheriff. Well, he's the hangman, right? Like you're, you're, It's time for your execution. Mm-hmm. And here comes his executioners in the dark order, right? Mm. And they're like evil and twisted and- Oh maybe God! Maybe satanic, I, right? Like maybe satanic. Let's uh, yeah. who, who's who's at AEW. Let's send this fucking script to him. I'll write uh, it out yeah, for you. Uh, yeah. But but that's what you need to do is come in. We're bumbling idiots. Oh, it's my fun little brother, Hangman Adam Page, just looking down, kind of at Colt Cabana and the rest of the guys. And everything's fun and everything's... Colt Cabana is the first one he could, like, murder to kind of set an example and, like, turn and then the Colt group Cabana like can then yeah, yeah, and then Colt Cabana can go off and go back to doing his fun stuff. But mm-hmm. you have them doing the bumbling idiots kind of stuff, but they're winning matches, right? But then they start losing a couple, and then they lose a few more, and then they're on a losing streak, and then that's what turns... Hangman out of the page. You could even yeah, do... He's sitting at the bar drinking there, having joking mm-hmm. fun, and he's just like... And it could be deeper and deeper. You see the like psychosis setting in, right? Yeah. And the match that could take him over the top is you do old guns and poses with Hangman and Adam poses. Page, and they get a and they get a match with the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks pin Hangman Adam Page, and that's when it dawns on him like, "Hey, I was a part of that group. I'm the fucking man. I left that group to be the fucking man. This shit's changing." And then boom, oh. 
Mm-hmm. The, the hangman, yeah. god damn it. Get that old western, like that whistling music. Can he buy the uh-huh. rights to that? The, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Right down yeah. that thing, yeah. He already hangman comes out on a horse in, sometime. Brim right? down low. Yeah, right now. He's got to have a black horse at this time, right? Like mm-hmm. the horse is black this time. He's all jacked mm-hmm. down black, black duster, right? You can't see shit. He's oh. the hangman, and then here come his executioners all in hoods, right? You can't have hanging ropes anymore. That would be bad. Um, no, but no, just no, something. no, no, no. Just all, all you can do, right, is when he identifies his target. Let's just say, like you said, let's go with this. Mm-hmm. Colt Cabana is the first one to be exiled from the Dark Order, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the way executed, and the way we do this is because again, we can't have hanging nooses. That's right, totally yeah, yeah. inappropriate, right? But yeah. Colt Cabana has a match. Because of shenanigans, let's say Guns and Poses distracts him. Colt Cabana loses to um, Sean Spears, right? Sean mm-hmm. Spears gets the victory. He's now looking good. He rolls out of the ring. He's good. Colt Cabana's like, hey, man, what the fuck? Like, we're same team, same team. Mm-hmm. And then you get all of those druid-like guys from yep. the Dark Order. And remember, the Dark Order has so many members we don't know. Remember, uh, what's-her-name is number 99, we have fucking apparently ninety nine members of the Dark Order, right? Well, they have so a story they all, about that, but yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, not on TV can, though. They haven't, yeah. That not on TV, right? We know the shoot style, but I'm saying on TV, it's just anyone, number ten, all that stuff. But what I'm saying is, you can get these yeah. maskless independent pro wrestlers and some of the real Dark Order members. And what happens is, Colt Cabana and John Silver are doing this whole like, "Hey, man, what the fuck?" And John Silver is like. Time's up, pal. And then the druids or the, you know, executioners walk out and they just circle them in the ring, like do a half horseshoe type circle. Mm. And Colt Cabana's looking around. And then, like you said, the black horse and hangman on that duster comes out, you know, rides into the Mm -hmm. Davies place, gets off that horse, walks in, gives the head nod. They just swarm him, Colt Cabana, that is. Beat his ass, leave him out to die. Hangman Adam Page just stands over him, does maybe like a tip of the cap mm-hmm. or something, yeah, you know, like that. The and then leaves, and that is the exile of Colt Cabana from the Dark yeah. Order. Fuck yes, man, that got me excited. I love this shit. Man, when it's fun. That's a great storyline. Oh, man. that's a great story. Yeah. Hashtag tweet the table. Tell me how great we are because we are fucking great. That was the, worth your price yeah, of admission. And what Tom means by that is use hashtag tweet the table on Twitter because if you do that, we're going to read some on the show. I've got two of them picked out. we got the two best ones to read later tonight. Stay tuned. Was it you? Did you tweet the table? Mm, good tease, Tim. Good tease.